In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Spring Boot with Amazon EKS. As a prerequisite, you'll have to have the following installed, AWS CLI, kubectl, and EKS CTL. So I recommend going to uh, this documentation and getting those things set up. I have a very simple Spring Boot application here that returns hello world. And so first, uh, I want to create a Docker file. And I'll go ahead and paste in this configuration here. So we're using OpenJDK 17, and then we're, we're setting the working directory to this, and then copying the jar file into that directory and uh, running that jar file. So first, um, I'm going to want to run maven clean package. And then I'll do docker build a tag my app. And then I'll run the container just to confirm it works. So do 8080 to 8080. Okay, let's open another terminal and curl localhost 8080. And we got hello world back. Okay, great. For this next step, we will want to go to Amazon Elastic Container Registry and then create a repository. And then I will call this my app and then scroll down and click on create repository. And I'll click into the repository, click on view push commands, and then I'll get this list of instructions here. And so I'll go ahead and copy the first one and then run this in the terminal. All right, login succeeded. And let's go back here and do the second one. Okay, and then let's do the third one. So tagging it, and then finally we will push this image. All right, so it looks like it finished uh, pushing to the registry. Let's go back and close this and then refresh this. And there's our image. For the next step, we we'll want to create our cluster. So EKSETL create cluster. After several minutes, the cluster has been created. So uh, let's test uh, this and see if we can connect to the cluster. All right, so it looks like our connection works. In the next step, we will create the Kubernetes YAML configuration. So I've pasted in a configuration template here, and I'm going to replace this image uh, with the one here. So I'm going to click on copy URI, and then go back and replace this. And then everything else is good. Uh, note that we have a type of load balancer here so that we can expose our service. All right, so now I'm going to do a kubectl apply f. All right, 
and then let's do a kubectl get pod. And you can see that our container is being created. Okay, let's try uh, kubectl get pod again. And you can see that it's running. So let's try to open up a uh, terminal into this pod. So kubectl exec it bash. All right, so we can see that our, uh, uh, our jar file is there. So that looks good. And let's do a kubectl get service. And you can see that um, our load balancer is, uh, uh, it looks like it's ready. So let's copy this and then run an NS lookup. Okay, so that's good. Um, so let's do a curl and we can see our hello world. And uh, yeah, that is in a nutshell how you can deploy a service to Amazon EKS. So we created a load balancer for a single service, but what if we wanted to uh, route traffic to multiple services? Well, to do that, you're gonna need an ingress. And so we're gonna create an ingress using AWS load balancer controller. Uh, so first you'll want to run AWS SDS get caller identity, and then you're gonna to wanna to copy the account number from that. In the next step, uh, you'll have to run a few shell commands to set up the ingress. Uh, you can find these commands in the EKS documentation, uh, but you can also find them on my website. Um, so you're gonna to need to replace a few things in this um, in this file here, so my cluster, uh, and then this with, you know, the name of your cluster, and then you want to replace this also, uh, and then replace this with your account number, and then replace this with the name of your cluster. Um, and then, uh, You'll want to run each of these commands uh, by themselves because I, I tried to run this as a script, uh, but that didn't work. I'm not sure why uh, this part did not get replaced. So I recommend running each command individually. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right, so I just finished running through all of the commands. So let's check and see if uh, it worked. So I'm going to run kubectl get deployment. All right, it says uh, one out of one ready. So uh, yeah, that worked. Okay, in the next step, I'm going to create another file here. And I'm going to call this the ingress.yaml. And I'm going to paste in some code here. Um, and you can find this in the, um, the sample app in the AWS load balancer controller documentation. So uh, you can also read about it in on the uh, Kubernetes website. So uh, we have our root path here, and we're going to route traffic to our my app service. Um, so let's go ahead and apply this. And it says it's created, and we'll do a kubectl get ingress. And uh, this is our uh, load balancer URL. So I'm going to copy this and do ns lookup. Okay, so it says it can't find it, so uh, we'll probably have to wait a few minutes. All right, let's do that again. Okay, so that looks like it works, so let's do a curl. 
and we get our hello world. So that concludes our video on how to deploy Spring Boot to Amazon EKS. Uh, you can find all of the notes for this video on my website, fullstackbook.com, uh, and you can also find free resources on, on full stack web development. Um, all right, then I think that's all. Thanks, and see you next time.